Hey mathematicians, it's Mrs. Freeman. Hey, have you ever wanted to get into the kitchen and make something really delicious for you or your family? Well, if you do, today's the chance. I have a really good friend of mine I'm going to introduce you to, and she's going to show us one of her favorite recipes, black bean and corn salsa. Now, sometimes you get a recipe and you may have to change it a little depending on how many people you're going to cook for. So what we're going to do is we're going to use strategies that we've learned to multiply fractions and kind of manipulate a recipe. This is our kitchen math for today. Chef Bessie, who's here all the way from Southern Mississippi, has a delicious recipe to share with us. Chef Bessie? Oh, hi, y'all. This is Chef Bessie here. How y'all doing? I heard you want to try making my delicious black bean and corn salsa. Well, here's the recipe. Now, if you notice some of the ingredients, well, they're in whole numbers, some are mixed numbers, some are fractions, but that's all right. I mean, it's not that hard to make. So I want to show you how to make it today. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me a minute. Who is, oh, it's my, it's my neighbor, Faith. Hello, Faith. How y'all doing? What? Oh my goodness. Twice as many guests? Maybe even three times? Oh my goodness, what am I going to do with my recipe? I'm going to have to change it. Mrs. Freeman, Mrs. Freeman, I'm going to need you to help me. Can you help me with some of the math? All of our ingredients are listed here along the side. And what we're going to do is we're going to first double the recipe. That means multiply each ingredient by two. Then we're going to triple our recipe, which means multiply every ingredient by three. If we look at the sample here, if we needed three cups of milk, to double it, we multiply three times two, which equals six cups of milk. If we were going to triple our original ingredient, three cups of milk, we multiply times three. Three times three equals nine cups of milk. All right, so first ingredient is frozen corn. We need two cups. To double it, we multiply that by two. Now we need four cups. To triple it, we do two cups, our original, times three. So triple the ingredient would be six cups. We're going to go down and do this for each ingredient in our delicious black, and, black bean and corn salsa. Now we know that anything multiplied by one is the number we multiply by. So we need two cups of diced red bell pepper to double. We need three cups if we triple. Now what happens when we multiply by a fraction like one half? Well, we know that we set it up one half times two over one and we multiply numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator. So now we have two over two and since multiplication and division are inverse operations, this becomes division. 2 divided by 2 equals 1 cup. So doubling 1 half means a half plus a half. Now we need 1 cup of thinly sliced green onions. To triple, we'll do the same thing. 1 half times 3 over 1 now gives us 3 over 2 or 1 and 1 half cups of thinly sliced green onions. Thank you, Mrs. Freeman. That wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. All you got to do is just multiply the original ingredient by two or three if you're going to double or triple it. I get it now. That's a piece of cake. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm so rude. I'm so, oh, it's my friend Wyatt. Yeah. Oh, hello, Wyatt. How are y'all doing? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I, I'm planning on making that salsa when you guys come over for dinner next week. Okay. It's just, Oh, okay, so I don't need as much as the original. We might have to cut it in half. In half. Uh-huh, I see. Okay. Yep, we'll see you Friday night. Yep, all right. Bye-bye. Okay, well, now, if I have my original recipe and there's going to be less people, 
I think I'm just going to multiply it by one half. Or it's almost like dividing by two. So, Mrs. Freeman, can you show us how to do that now? We're going to cut the recipe in half. Now, just like we multiplied by whole numbers to double and triple, half of the original recipe means you multiply by one half. So let's do a few ingredients to see. If we do two times one half, we're cutting two in half, which gives us one cup of frozen corn instead of the original, which calls for two cups. Let's try with a fraction. If we have one half a cup of thinly sliced green onions, and multiply that by one half. Multiplying a fraction by a fraction gives us an even smaller fraction. Multiply numerators, multiply denominators. Now you only need a fourth of a cup instead of the original half of a cup. One fourth is half of one. Wow, Bessie, that's a great recipe for black bean and corn salsa. Now you know exactly what you need to do to double a recipe, triple a recipe, or cut it in half, all by just multiplying fractions. I think my mathematicians are ready to hit the kitchen. That's all for now from Kitchen Math. Until next time.